I finally got a hold of my mother in North Carolina. They're getting lots and lots of rain right now and some heavy winds. Um, right now, um, the winds are pretty much standard at 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour and they haven't even been hit yet. Um, it's not going to be a direct hit for them, but when they do get hit, um, they expect it to be uh, gusts up to 60 to 80 miles per hour. Um, and it, they're supposed to get hit sometime tonight, sometime tomorrow. Um, tonight into tomorrow morning, some, sometime around there. So they went to the store, they bought everything they need, they... Got flashlights, battery radio, lots of water, foods, and stuff like that in case they lose power and with, are without power for any length of time. So they are all set and um, ready to hunker down if they need to. Um, they are not in an evacuation area or anything like that. So. Just ready for some pretty heavy rains and some heavy winds and uh, that's about it so glad I was able to get in touch with her this morning was a little worried that uh, you know they had to evacuate or something and that's why I couldn't reach her yes good morning angel good morning angel good morning to you good morning say good morning to the neighborhood community angel Angel is very needy in the morning. Who am I kidding? She's very needy all day long. Anyway, I'm watching some news already and coloring already. Mm -hmm. Yep, just for now. Um, I'm going to get up and do some uh, sorting and stuff like that today. So anyway, I will get back with you guys later on. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right. Good morning, everybody. We've got something going on in the trees today. That's a hawk that you hear. And then we have crows. And they're not happy with each other for some reason. So, good morning. And they say good morning. This is what I need to work on this morning. You know, I move all the stuff off of this patio that's been painted red. It's not in the best of shape. It needs to be scraped. And then um, sanded a bit. Cleaned up. And then painted. And I brought the paint with me. And uh, so... It shouldn't be too much of a job. It still takes a couple of days. <sighs> Critics. Okay, I'm just sitting here watching the Weather Channel, and I'm watching about Hurricane Matthew, and it is hitting Cape Fear, North Carolina right now, which is, like, right next door to my mother. So... I don't know if my mother is getting hit harder than she expected that she was going to get hit that what she told me she was this morning when I spoke with her or what, but Cape Fear was the hospital that, <clears throat> excuse me, Cape Fear was the, one of the hospitals that my father was at where I stayed with him and um, it's not far from my parents' house. So, I can't get a hold of anybody, obviously, um, but I don't know if my mother expected to get hit this hard. It didn't sound like it when I spoke with her this morning. So, I'm keeping an eye on this right now. I'm going to keep trying to reach them to see if everybody's okay, and um, yeah. We'll keep you updated. All right, so uh, I have everything I need, which is mostly Diet Coke. 
keeps me going. <laughs> Coffee for the morning and Coke for the rest of the day. And uh, I have some stuff that I need to do. I realized that there was a drawer in the kitchen that wasn't working properly, so I pulled that out. Now I gotta take a look at that. I uh, brought all my tools in. And I am going to be clearing the deck here. So I want to make sure nothing's on the lawn because that's not good for the lawn. And uh, just move everything out to here. It looks like uh, John had just moved everything here for the winter. So, but uh, yeah, I need to deal with that. So once I've got this all nice and clean, and I got to make sure the dogs don't come back because they just love marking stuff here. And the paint's not going to stick to that, that's for sure. I'm going to have to wash all that off. Um, I'm probably going to need some uh, um, caution tape or something to keep these guys out. Because they're going to want to walk on this. And I don't care until I um, actually paint. But after I paint, we're going to have little gray paw prints everywhere, right? Buddy? So, yeah. It's not a bad day. It's in the 80s, I would say. This is the con floor. Bleh. This is the paint I bought. It's just um, Home Depot brand bare concrete and garage floor paint in a slate gray. And that should look nice. And it's uh, sort of a um, um, epoxy. It's not a. It's not gonna wash off. It's going to a. You get back in the air. So, um, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be scraping and sanding um, today as well. And uh, just cleaning things up around here and fixing things as I go. So, that's what's going on so far. I've got horror film running in the uh, front room. Yeah, what is this, uh, Tooth Fairy or... Darkness Falls, something like that. Yeah. Seen it before. It's okay. And uh, we got some dog food in the mail. So I'll open that up. And I'll start a wash. And start the dishwasher. And that'll be a full day, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm watching the news. And it says on the news that Fayetteville is flooding. Which is the town next to my mom and dad's where my ne niece and nephew live which is where Fort Bragg is which is where Skylar and Ross are and you know so I've been trying to get a hold of someone to make sure everybody is okay and I cannot get a hold of anybody and I'm starting to panic and I'm texting Kevin and you know I'm getting all nervous and uh, stressed out and you know all of this and finally I get a hold of Crystal they are doing fine everybody is safe sorry bed light they are doing fine everybody is safe um, yes Fayetteville parts of Fayetteville are flooding but uh, everybody there is safe right now got my Mickey ears on <laughs> Um, right now I'm getting myself a little something to eat, and, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so here I am in, uh, Nikki and John's kitchen, and I'm gonna make myself a gourmet Red Baron pizza! That'll be good for lunch and dinner. So, Diet Coke, of course. So that's it. Lunch. Okay, so lunch is just a little overdone. It's not too bad. I'll eat it anyway. Okay, clearing off this uh, concrete was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I had to find the corners. And there's a corner over here that was buried. And there was a corner over there that was buried. That one wasn't too bad. This one, um, I had to cut the uh, 
plant back here. It's a giant bird of paradise. I've never seen one this big. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was a banana plant. And um, they probably should make some decisions about this thing because it is, it has grown out of control and the concrete has uh, been lifted at about two inches. I had to cut back, uh, there's a stump here that someone had cut before, but it was grown over the concrete by about two inches and I had to cut it all the way back to find the edge. So that was fun. So now I'm gonna blow it off, then I'm gonna hose it off, and uh, that's what I'm doing today. Tomorrow I will scrape. Well guys, I got a hold of my family, and even though they're getting a lot of rain, they're all doing okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say good night to you all. It's only 8 o'clock, but I had a really bad night last night and I'm really tired. So, I'm going to go to bed early tonight. So, I hope you guys liked everything you saw today. If you did, please give us a great big thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment, all that happy, crappy stuff. And we will see you guys all tomorrow.